Hello, hello, hello. Um, my name is Summer Rain, and we are going to be playing Fallout 4. Um, so let's jump into the character creator here in a second, but first let me explain a little bit. Um, I have only, I have played, you know, Fallout 4 has been out for a little while. I have played the beginning, however, I have never gotten past Diamond City. In fact, I've never entered Diamond City. So, what we're going to be doing, um, I have three different character ideas, and I might end up doing, uh, all three eventually. However, I'm going to start with one that is very militarized, um, very much, even though I'm going to be playing a female, and in the canon story, the female was, I believe she had a law degree, and her husband, um, was the military man in our story we're gonna swap that a little bit we're gonna say she's a military woman her husband was a lawyer and we're going to uh, make her a very power armor heavy weapons and um, assault rifles and pistols uh, very hands-on tough shit um, She's going to be something else, uh, definitely going to lean into the Brotherhood of Steel, um, and we'll, we'll see what we can do with that, because I, I notice a lot of YouTubers, they make, uh, like, the more charismatic and more, um, polite characters. She's not going to be polite. My character is, is going to be very tough, very gung-ho, very, I will shoot your head off if you don't hand over my son type of woman um however she might not be so happy with her son when she finds him but um we're gonna start a new game here and see what we can do and i'm gonna stay quiet during the opening scene but then we'll get into making our character and i'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about her so let's uh let's see how this goes i'm very excited about this game um, I've always wanted to do a 100% run, and I just have never been able to. I've always gotten distracted with other games, so let's see. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. first century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing,
is that war... War never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, so I do realize that I neglected to put on um, subtitles, and for some reason it's not letting me hit escape here while I'm working on them, but um. We'll go ahead and we'll make our characters, both the husband and the wife, although I will be playing the wife. Um, and then I will put subtitles on. So let's see here. What do we have as an option? Okay. Oof. Um, all these guys look very... Well, not all of them, but a lot of them have that more, like, manly man soldier look, like, uh, very, very masculine looking. Um, very, like, uh, you know, Army Joe <laughs> type of, like, this guy definitely has an army look to him. I actually kind of like, like his face, um, although his nose is something else, but, um, <laughs> I think... Now, our character here, uh, the, the female, her name is going to be Maya Everett, and I do plan on making her into a black woman. Um, but her husband, because we love interracial couples, is going to be... Uh, let's make him... Maybe a very kind of... Um, delicate looking smooth uh business looking kind of guy here um not really a manly man because i really want um i really want the wife to have the more um shall we say masculine uh tough uh Kind of, um, I'm trying to think of, you know that girl in, uh, Jumanji, the new Jumanji movies, Ruby, uh, Roundhouse? She's gonna be like that, but, you know, kind of a little less, uh, dancing and a little more fighting. Let's see, ooh, do I want to make him a redhead? That's a, I love the red hair. <laughs> That's a really good question, but I think I'm gonna go for darker hair. Let's see. Um, let's do. Um, deep brown, maybe? Do you want deep brown? Dark brown? I'm really indecisive, so. Um, I'll go with dark brown. Your style. I like it. But let me do the style. Ugh, no. <laughs> um, we're gonna make him. Ooh, I love. I like the shaggier hairs. I will admit, I really like the shaggy hairs. However, since we are role playing this a little bit, and we're saying that he is a stay at home, like, uh, well, not a stay at home guy, but a a lawyer who is very clean cut and very um responsible looking and and probably you know walks around in suits and lotions his hands and wears cologne and is a little bit into the finer things in life we're gonna go with the colonial I think Do I want the colonial or the top knot whoops I keep accidentally hitting that and changing it uh, Let's go with the top knot. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna really change the. Me. I think I'm gonna make him blonde. Like, yeah, I kind of like that. Not like, 
Maybe not super blonde. But like a... Uh, no, I like him as a, as a blonde. Yeah, Let's yesterday. do blonde. Um, and then his eyes, which are very important. I don't want to sculpt him too much. I... Bleh. Okay. Sculpting is a bad idea. Um, I'm not good with with the whole sculpting thing, so we're gonna cancel that. We're just gonna pick the type. Uh, um, handsome. Yeah, you do look handsome. But let's... I want narrow eyes, but maybe not... Hmm. Maybe not that angle, uh, narrow. <laughs> okay. Um, let's... Yeah, not bad. Shrewd. Ooh, a lawyer would have shrewd eyes, wouldn't he? Maybe? Yeah, let's go for shrewd three. What's different about you? And then we will do the type of nose. They call the big nose the handsome nose. Okay then. Hun. Um. You think my nose is too big? The <laughs> from the side, the Roman nose is uh, oof. Such okay. a cute nose. I don't. I don't think I like that for him. It works for some guys. It does not work for him. Narrow. Now that's kind of good, right? Oh, maybe not. See, the problem I'm having is that from the front, some noses look great, but from the side, they don't. And then from the, um... And, and then you'll find it's the other way around. Because... You have such strong cheekbones. Some look great from the, from the front. Like, uh, Roman 2. And then horrific from the side. What do you think, huh? Um... Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Let's see here. I definitely want a narrow nose. Even though it looks kind of funky from the front, I think we're gonna go with... There's... Narrow something one. different. What is it? Is his nose broken? Does he have the broken nose thing on? Oof. Well, let me pick his mouth and Not then I'll bad. fix that. Not bad. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that my mic isn't going in and out at all, but I am having it's a, a issue with my headphone input. Um, so just a warning if I if the audio is a little bit That's screwy, I apologize. Nice. <sighs> he looks like he's been like seriously disfigured by the nose. Okay. Um mm. Ooh. I do love those lips. Lips only a mother could love, really, though. Some of these. Um. Or face, rather. I'm really bad at character creators. Uh, don't yeah, let anyone fool you, bad. because I know I have friends who will comment on this and go, shut up. That's not true. Um, I have friends who will absolutely defend my character creation. Especially because I just recently made a really cool lips. character in Cyberpunk. Yeah. Um. That looked absolutely amazing, but... Unfortunately, I disagree. Um, I mean, not on the cyberpunk character. She did look amazing, but uh, this particular... Nice. I'll go with that. Um, this particular character creation... Sculpt. Can I just bring his chin down a little bit? And maybe, like... Is there a way to tuck it? Um... Can't really tuck it, can I? There's my strap on husband. Um but like especially this character career I have tried, but it really just does not like me. Ooh, so patch. Um <laughs> the top knot and a <laughs> and a prospector, now that's something. No, the bard, ooh. A la Dandelion from Witcher. <laughs> um, let's see. No. 
uh, doomsday prayer. See, if I was in the world with this guy, um, I, I, I like to roleplay my characters in a way that is very believable. So, like, I, I'll start with them looking more clean cut and then change their hair once they're in the world. Um, which is probably what we're going to do with Maya. We're going to change her appearance up once she's in there. Um, however, I want this guy to look semi-clean cut. Um, but I also kind of like him having some stubble. So let's go with the hard road. Which I believe is what he was on before. I might be wrong. But, um, the only thing I have left to change really is his eyes. Because I, I want to leave him alone for the most part. Um, mostly because I could spend hours sitting here messing with him. Now, let's do... Ooh. Steel? I like the steel eyes. Tempted to make him totally, uh, not so great with his vision there, but... I like the light green as well. My own eyes are hazel green, um, which do not look anything like this actually they look more light because of them being hazel they look more light green most of the time um i think i'm gonna go with the light green sean totally has your eyes okay um yeah so that will be oh wait i haven't checked his extras i think he has Um, no, since we are role-playing him as a guy who is not the color, what? oh, that's fine. Um, since we are role-playing him as a guy who is a lawyer, who is not, um, sure, I'm gonna, I'm tempted to keep his eyes gone, but I'm not going to, um, who is not terribly, like, tough or, like, um, an army man, like the story tells. Um, I don't like the splotches on him, but maybe some pock marks? Pock marks on him, yeah? No, I can't bring myself to do it. I want him to look a little bit, like, you know. Oh, did I just put those back? Oh, I'm s stupid. Putting them back after I take them off. Um. But no, uh, I, I want him to look very... Not bad. Like... Not bad. Just checking that I didn't accidentally apply anything there. Um. Kind of, you know, soft and, like, not not quite so, uh, tough at all. Also, this is very low. I wonder if we raised it, how it would look. Ooh. Um, let's put some light freckles. Yeah, I actually really like that. Um... I'm gonna sneeze. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I'm sorry if I sneeze in advance. But yeah, let's let's go with as that. Let's give, the him, day we met. let's give him some nice uh, freckles there. I actually really like the way he's turned out, even though I don't normally. Um, now body. Um, <laughs> chonkers. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll make him very chonkers now. Um, as a chonkers person myself, um, that's still cute. But no, let's make him on the thinner side. Thinner side, yeah. We'll make him kind of. Maybe not that thin, maybe a little bit more average. Okay, 
there. So that right there is uh, the Maya's husband. Um, we will name him Grant, Grant Everett. Um, and then let's go to my turn, big guy. Maya herself, who is going to look vastly different than what she looks like right now. Uh, let's see. I usually start out with this face. I love this face, and I'll probably use it in another character. Um, however, we're going to start with this one. Um, first off, actually, let me go to her extras and remove all because I didn't do that when I made her husband and I want to make sure her face is unaffected here. Um, her hair... Huh! I do plan on her having shorter hair um, perhaps later on in the series o or maybe having it pulled back because I really like that look for her uh, personality. Like I love the sophisticate um, and I love some of these more like uh, period hairs where it looks more like the time and they're very easy looking. However, let's start her off as, oh, that's so cute. Um, let's start her off with longer hair and have her change it up. Um, I really like some of these. I like Miss Noir. Um, I like Elegant as well. She is going to be a no-nonsense kind of person, though. And as much as I love her having the curly hair, I kind of... Eh. You know what? No. Let's go with Elegant. Let's... I have the best hairdresser. This is where. Yes, you do. And that hairdresser would be me. Um, let's go with that, and we're gonna give her warm black hair. Wait. Did you go to the hairdresser yesterday? <laughs> um, her skin color. I didn't actually change her husband's skin color, but we are definitely changing Maya's here. Um, see, I like the, the lighter shade of coffee, but I don't like how it looks. It looks very gray to me, and I don't like that. So we're gonna go with Umber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Change her hair, or her eye color here. Um, I'm tempted to give her blue eyes, despite clearly that being unusual um, for her. But actually, the more I look at them, the more I really want to give her blue eyes. You know what? Um, why not? It's our game. Let's let's go for it. Let's give her blue that eyes. The most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. And her husband is right. Blue eyes are beautiful. Um, let's do. No, I don't want to sculpt. I want type. I Prominent, think Sean has my eyes. Tired. Wide. Worried eyes. Oh no. Um. Well, we don't want her to look Such worried all the time. But I do want her to look kind of stern. Shoot eyes? No. Narrow? No. That looks nice. Alert? Hmm. No. Suspicious. Ooh. Sean totally has your eyes. Hmm. I like Suspicious 3. But let me just. I still got it. Rested? What about the rested eyes? No. I think piercing. Such pretty eyes. Two or suspicious. Three. I really like piercing two. So I think we're gonna go with those for now. Let me see if that works with the rest of her body. 
or the rest of her face rather. I like my nose, right? Why is that so shiny? Like, I guess it's just the way it's tilted. But, um, okay. No. The first yeah, option is like really, that. really shiny. Prominent. Ooh. We're not I doing the shiny nose. nose. Let's do prominent, too. Um, and then her lips, which are important because a woman always not is not bad at all. Lovely with lovely lips. Um, average. I kind of like the average lips, great but lips. we'll see. You know that? Smirk? No, she's not very playful. I actually don't picture this character having a sense of humor at all. Oh, yeah. So I know a lot yeah, of people like works. the um, more sarcastic dialogue options, but this particular character, maybe another one would, um, but this particular character is not you at all going to, um, not gonna give humor the time of day. Full lips. I actually kind of like her like that. I don't even think I want to mess with her face. I mean, she's going to look wonky from certain angles, as all Fallout characters do. But I actually really like her. So let's take a couple of screenshots of the new couple. Oh wait, I totally forgot. I have to do her like makeup and stuff. I'm, I'm rushing. I'm eager to get into the game, so that's why. I'm just... I still got it. Oops, makeup. Um, there's different colors. Oh, there's different colors. Uh, let's go with that. And lip liner. Um, do I want to give her lip liner? Let's see how it looks. We'll we'll just go ahead, put this together, and see what it looks like after. Uh, don't mind that color, but let's get rid of the lip liner. Maybe a little bit of... No, I don't like the matte. Uh, waterline. Can't even see it changing. Oh, there it goes. I guess they do have a water line on there. It's so unnoticeable, though. Um, I'm guessing the first option is going to be black. And that's why I couldn't see it before. So let's apply that. And let's do... Ooh. I kind of like the idea of, even though she's no-nonsense, having this winged eyeliner. Maybe? Maybe something simple like that would be better. And then some lower. Eyeshadow. Um. They do have blue. Sure, why not? We'll give her a little bit of eye eyeshadow. Um, no lower eyeshadow, but let's accept. Good, huh? And then markings. No, I don't want to give her freckles or moles. Her husband has that covered. Um, lip color. Rough face, no. Forehead blemishes, no. Again, I really don't... Oh my god. The sun scorched. I mean, the sun scorched looks bad on pale skin, but on a black woman, it looks like somebody painted her face red. Um. Jeez, okay. I was thinking when I was trying the splotches out on her husband that maybe I'd give her a splotch, but I actually now I just I like 
I, I know it's bad to make your characters perfect, but I kind of want her to not be, you know, all that. Maybe a scar. I really like that. And because I have it in my head that she's a former soldier, um, I could totally give her a scar and have it fit and have her just be scarred the whole way through. Is that bad? Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that one. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Then... Let's do body. Now, I could make her a larger woman because thick women is where it's at. But, um... Actually, I kind of do want to make her a larger... Like, I, I can picture her being muscular because of her military background... But I kind of like the idea of her being just like a slightly thicker woman, you know? Like, have some curves. I like it. Okay. And with that, I think we are done. So let me enter the game. I'm going to turn on subtitles and end it there. And then in the next video, we'll start everything up. Confirm character. Oof. Oh my god, that jump into first person. Okay. Um. So there's Nate. Hey, hon. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Wow. Already asking me to get breakfast ready. Um, let's... Ah, hold on. I have to plug in my computer here. I am recording this using a laptop, so... That will occasionally be an issue, but um, we'll see. Audio. No. Where's the uh, uh, subtitles? On. On. Okay. Perfect. Alrighty then. I will leave you guys there, and next time we will um, explore the house. Alright. This is Maya and uh, oh, yeah, they have names, but Nate and Nora, um, but we're going to ignore that. So this is Maya and this is Grant and uh, they are the Everett family and we'll get started next time. Bye bye.